Hey fam, Julie here. In this video, I will talk about my salary as an English teacher or an ALT here in Japan. This is an updated version for 2023 and I will provide four types of salary. First will be my normal salary when I was still in a driving position and when I was living in the countryside. Next is my prorated salary when I was still in a driving position and living in the countryside. Then, my prorated salary now that I am in a non-driving position, living in Tokyo. And lastly, my normal salary now that I am in a non-driving position, living in Tokyo. It is important to discuss each of these so you can decide for yourself if it's really worth it to come here and teach English. I also want to talk about a few disclaimers that are necessary to know, especially when there are a lot of factors that can affect your finances while working here as an ALT. First, let's talk about the companies. There are a lot of other companies that I can only talk about mine. Next is the position. Today, I will talk about four types of salaries because it really depends on the position you have as an ALT. Some are in driving positions while others are not. Then let's consider the lifestyle. We all have different lifestyle and there are different factors in managing our finances. In this video, I will be showing you the basic expenses, so please adjust the numbers based on your lifestyle. Another disclaimer is regarding the currency. I can only show the Philippine Peso and USD. As of making my slides, the exchange rate is 0.40 yen per Philippine Peso and 139 yen per US dollars. And lastly, let's consider the location. Every location offers a different cost of living. I will show you the cost of living I had when I was in the countryside of Chiba and the cost of living here in Tokyo. Regarding bills, they really vary depending on the season. Since we use a lot of heaters and air conditioners in summer and winter, those seasons would be more expensive. I'm showing you the bills from May 2023 because that's what I have now. And filming this in June 2023. Overall, this is my own experience. Just to give you an idea on how your finances will look like, working here as an ALT. I hope that this can help you decide whether you will be fine working here. And yeah. Now, as you can see, this is my salary for February's work. I will get this salary in March 20th. So every 20th of the month, my company um, gave me my salary. So yeah, in February of 2023, I worked for 19 days. And I was in the countryside and I have a car. So I am renting a car from my company. I also worked from 8 to 4.30. Again, my time in is 8 a.m. and my time out that time was 4.30 p.m. And this is my base salary, 215,000 yen. And I also have an allowance, which was 39,402 yen. Actually, my company gives me the allowance for my rental car and for my position because I was really in a countryside like there is actually no station near my school so yeah that's how countryside I was when my company hands me the payslip these are already here these are the compulsory deductions that my company deducts automatically from my salary health insurance pension employment insurance income tax and I was also renting a SIM card from my company at that time and it only costs 2,752 yen. And yeah, for my rental car fee, it's 37,481. By the way, with the allowance that I have, my gas allowance is already included there. And I think they were giving me like 3,400 yen for gas allowance, but I actually don't think it was enough because, you know, um, how do I say? The gas went up, unfortunately. But yeah, this is how my salary looked like for working when I was working for February. And so I got a total pay of 254,402 yen. And the total deduction that you saw earlier was for a total of 83,343 yen. 
So my net pay is actually 171059 That's $1,230 and for Philippine Peso, that's like 68,000 pesos. But then again, we have bills to pay. So my apartment in the countryside was only for 35,000 yen, which is really good amount. But I have to pay for school lunch, 5,130 yen. For food, I budget 15,000 yen. If I will always home cook, that's really enough now. And for gas, I budget 3,000 yen. I also have a home Wi-Fi that was for 4,500 yen. And for the electricity, I have 4,500 yen since it's like winter during the th this time. For water, I have 3,500 yen. By the way, for water, I, I pay it um, once in two months. So my water bill is uh, usually like 6,000 or 7,000 yen for two months. And this gas is the uh, car gas, 4,500. And of course, we have other things to buy in case there are emergencies or we want to eat out or you know like um, grocery items or like hygiene whatever items that we need to buy so I just put 10,000 there and this is a total of 85,130 yen so after subtracting all that my expenses from my net pay which was 171,069 yen I will only be left with 85,140 yen that is $612 or in Philippine Peso, 34,000 pesos. So I use this in like going out, traveling or like eating out or sometimes sending money back home to the Philippines or saving up for my emergency funds and others. So yeah, you will still have some money left. Anyway, then I will be showing you um, a prorated one. With my company, I am not paid during spring holidays. I am paid during summer vacation and winter vacation if I'm here in Japan. But if I will go back to the Philippines, I will have to file a holiday leave so that I'll get paid. But if I don't have holiday paid leaves anymore, then I won't also get paid. Some companies don't pay you during summer vacation, so you have to be very careful with it. And um, it depends on you, but you can also choose a like the same with my company wherein they pay me per month or some other companies pay you per day and some other companies don't pay your transportation but my company pays transportation so yeah i hope you guys could see whether the company that you're gonna be applying or the company who gave you a job job offer is really financially worth it okay now i'm gonna show you the next type of salary so let's talk about my March work. In March, I only work for like three weeks. So my salary is prorated as I've said earlier. I've only worked for 17 days and I was also in a driving position because I was still living in a countryside. My time in was at 8 and my time out was at 4.30 and this was my base salary. It's like 50,000 yen, 40,000 yen. How do I say lesser than my usual uh, salary or my normal salary when I was still in the countryside and this is my allowance so even though we have an unusual kind of salary or a prorated salary we still have to pay the compulsory things that are automatically deducted from our salary I have my health insurance pension employment insurance income tax my wi-fi my sim card i mean and my rental car fee they are constant unfortunately and so i am left with 119,550 yen so that's the that's the amount that is gonna be reflected in my bank account that's 860 dollars and in philippine peso that's 47,820 and our expenses are still constant apartment 35,000 yen school lunch 4,590 food and gas you see the amount Wi-Fi 4,500 electricity water and car gas so and also others <laughs> of course there are other things that we need to buy 
and I already told you what those are earlier. Yeah, so after all of those uh, bills are subtracted from my net pay, I will only have 34,960 yen. That's $251 only and that's 13,984 pesos. So in March, we're really very poor and it's also the time where you're really tempted to go out on a vacation because the cherry blossoms are there, the weather is usually nice and yeah, so that's also the reason why during the normal months, you have to set aside some of your income for these parated months. And yeah, let's talk about April. It's also a parated month, but I am already here in Tokyo during this time, so I don't have a car and um, my transportation is also paid, but it's also so per this is also my prorated um, salary. I still worked for 17 days in April and yeah, I already transferred to Tokyo because this is my fifth contract with the company, my base salary increased. And as you see, my time in and time out also changed. I go to school at 8.40 and I get out of school 3.40. So lesser time but more pay. <laughs> it's so different from the countryside. And we also had trainings during April, so that's kind of a little bit of income, but it's just like 1,400 yen per hour and we only have like 4 hours for this. So yeah, actual working day is 17 and I got extra pay, 5,005. Oh yeah, it's 3, three hours and 30, 3 hours, 30 minutes <laughs> extra. So during those hours, I got paid 5,000 yen. Again, my base salary increased and this is just for 17 days and it's prorated. My base salary was 183,000 yen for the training, 5,000 yen and I was also reimbursed with my transportation fee which was 18,000 yen. Okay, and these were the compulsory things that are deducted from my base salary or my salary health insurance, pension, employment insurance, and income tax. As you notice, I didn't avail my company's SIM card because I thought I'll be I'll be working with another company, so I canceled it. Uh, that was really a dumb thing to do because now my SIM card is a bit more, like, yeah, a bit more than uh, what my comp company offered. But yeah, anyway. So my total pay is 206,000 yen and my total deduction during April, April was 38,000 yen and my net pay was 167,837. Now let's talk. Okay, that is 1,207 bucks and 67,134 pesos. So it's quite so now that I live in Tokyo, my bills are way higher, especially my apartment because we're already in Tokyo, but at least I don't have a car. So this is my apartment cost and I also got a SIM card. It was just 2,000 yen for this month because the SIM card company um, gave me a prorated rate as of April and my food, 20,000 yen, electricity water, gas, and others. So this gas is actually a, you know, like a heater in your in your shower. That's the gas that I meant by there. So it was already, the, the weather was kind of fine already, so I didn't use much gas. That's a total of 117,165 yen. After that is subtracted to my net pay, I will only have 50,672 yen. That's Three hundred sixty-four dollars, and in Philippine peso, that's twenty thousand pesos. So it's fine, but yeah, it's hard to breathe during this time. It's really low paid, and you have a nice weather in April, and it's so tempting to just go out and you know have some fun. So yeah, that's my April salary prorated, non-driving position, and in Tokyo. Actually, my apartment is very cheap, like super cheap. 
56,165 yen. That's super cheap apartment. That's like a shared house here in Tokyo. But yeah. And now let's talk about my May 2023 salary. Again, this salary, I received this the other day because I filmed this in June. So yeah, um, this is my normal salary now that I am in Tokyo. And I worked for 20 days. Imagine that. And yeah, I already lived in Tokyo during this time. And I'm also in a non-driving position. Um, I go to work from 8.40 to 3.40. And actually, some Mondays of May is actually sub-day where like, uh, I actually don't have work during that time. But then if another ALT in the neighboring area is absent, then I can go to that school and sub for him or her. I get a little pay extra for doing this but yeah there are there were other two mondays where i didn't get called and i just stayed at home so that's what i liked about being in tokyo and being in a non-driving position it, having this kind of like schedule um starting at 8 40 and going out at 3 40. this was my base salary like this is already my fifth contract that's why i got a higher salary or they increased my base salary and of course it's inflation they need to increase it like girl so yeah base salary is for this amount and as you see there's standby because some of my mondays are standby the company called me to go to another school and this is for two schools so only 700 plus yen to extra for subbing and transportation fee this amount so a total of 242,000 yen and my total deduction is 40,000 yen. My net pay is 202,889. The deductions that you can see here was just the deductions that I told you about earlier. The employment insurance and health insurance, um, pension, those things. Okay. <laughs> anyway, for dollars, it's a thousand and four hundred fifty-nine dollars. For Philippine peso, it's eighty-one thousand one hundred and fifty-five. But then again, we have bills that we need to pay: apartment, school lunch, food here in Tokyo. So as you see, it changed to fifteen thousand yen because we are on a diet during this time. I actually needed to budget my my money because in april and march i had a prorated salary so yeah we need to eat eggs every day only <laughs> joke but yeah please adjust it based on your you know appetite <laughs> electricity home wi-fi and my sim card now that it's like full one month it's 3900 yen i got my sim card from rakuten actually good and fine to pay that amount for a sim card for my water expenses and gas and other things so these are the total expenses is 105,250 yen and subtracting that from my net pay i will only be left with 97,639 yen in dollars it's 702 dollars and in philippine peso that's 39,000 pesos so these are the money that you can use for traveling and whatnot in japan so again guys this is updated this is 2023 so yeah i hope that you can see how your finances will look like if you're going to come here and work as an alt and of course we see other people posting why they hate being an english teacher in japan but I think it's also, you know, it really depends on your goals. Why are you coming here as an ALT? Um, are you coming here to explore Japan or heal yourself from whatever trauma your own country has for you? Or, you know, like we have different goals. So your goal is to save money, like a lot of money. I don't think the ALT job is for you, but you know, if you want to have fun and while surviving in Japan and while actually funding yourself to go out and travel or to eat out actually the alt job can be um fine i most of the like most of the time i eat out and i sometimes go travel so 
the ALT salary is actually kind of little to other people but I also believe that you still have lots of time to do extra work so you can also find other part-time jobs to increase your cash flow so yeah I hope this helped you if you have any questions you can DM me on Instagram at I'm delicious or I can just put that in the description box below or if you have any other questions and you don't want to DM me you want other people to see your questions you can also write them down in the comment section below and please don't forget to like and subscribe this channel hit the notification bell for the next video Matane.